at all. My name is Hussein, and basically, yeah, I've got a story for you of where we come from originally, Lily. Not originally, but where like everything. Just watch, okay? So there's a long camel, yeah, and it'd be like his name is Mr. Camel. It'd be like it'd be sitting there, right? Like. Ew, I'd like some grass, please. Mm, ooh, I want to go get some water, please. Mm, water, yes, it tastes good. And then, like, we'll sit on his back and stuff. And then it'll be like, ooh, let's go for a ride into the desert. Ooh, wee! And we go sliding down things. And then, and then people invade our country and they're like, and then jump off the quad bike and they're like, and then like they kill them people and then like and then they jump back on and then they forget to kill the camels so they come back and like they run him over and they kill him and, and then they jump off and then they they kill their motorbike and everything else and then and then they run away like this man that's the story why we want to blow everyone up yeah so can you see where we're coming from about why you're destroying our country and shit you know what I'm saying? You're saying can you shut the fuck up man? I'm trying to read in here. Gafar bastard. Allah man! Dickhead. Oh, Flana. Oh, brilliant. This is going to be good. We've got to go out and watch this. That's the girl he fancies, Flana. Oh, hang on. That's okay, I don't mind a bit of mess. Gafar bastard. Allah man! Allah! Allah! Yeah. I can come back. No, no. Yeah. So how have you been? I've been alright, how about you? Oh, well, I haven't seen you for two weeks. Last time I saw you was in Waitrose getting that, you know, that that wine. The... Uh yeah. And I accidentally um drunk too much of it and then I smacked my eyeball open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw you, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't walk up to you. Sore there, I'm sorry I didn't walk up to you and, and say hello or well, sorry you were supposed That's alright, I didn't have to. The, the paramedics were dealing with everything, you know, I'm not a paramedic. If I was, I would have been there, you know. Mm, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, just help a neighbour out. So um I happen to live next to paramedics, that'd be alright. Yeah. <laughs> if you live next door to terrorists, it'd be silly. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Hello. Listen, um, I've been meaning to ask you for a while. Who's saying, can you go lie in another room or something? So I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah, I'm going to go make a cup of Indian tea, man. He means tetanus. Yeah, um... So yeah, no, I was thinking, I was thinking of asking you, because know, obviously I haven't seen you in a while. I was thinking, do you want to go down the, the, the camel and car one time? They do a great veal. I mean, I don't really eat veal, but it uh, might be nice. Oh, fuck him. Fuck him. Uh, uh, it, it, it might, might be nice to uh, go down and have a, a drink or two. Yeah, we're going on a proper date. <laughs> well, not a date. What do you mean not a date? It's a man and a woman. Of course it's two dates. Oh, not two dates. I mean, that's a double date. And I don't want to quadruple it, but I mean two people. Well, no, we're just going out and having a drink. It's not necessarily a date. So we're not going to properly be dating, we're just going to have a friendly drink? Just, just for a friendly social. Do you think it could possibly um, lead into a date relationship? It could lead into one, yes. <laughs> oh great, thank you. Oh, I said thank you. <laughs> so me. Well, anyway. <coughs> Sorry, that was yours. Um, call me. Um, here's my business card. You've got a business card? Yeah, I've started my own trucking foundation, which goes to kids with no arms. Your what foundation? Trucking? Yeah, what did you think I said? I thought you said something else there. Uh, yeah, well, call me maybe, yeah? Alright, Carly Ray Jepson. What? Alright, yeah. Well, um, you know, I'll call you soon, you know. I mean, don't be ever afraid to knock, I mean, you know. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll come around right to I'll, I'll give you a call sometime, yeah? Yeah, that'd be nice. See you then. Yeah, okay, thanks. See ya. See you then. Bye. Bye, Flana. Bye. Oh, you got such a sexy ass. Hey, bruv, man. What the fuck are you doing standing there? Filming it, man. Oh, fucking hell, come find the bastard. I love that. I'm not dating, bruv. I love you. Ah! Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, don't, don't call me bastard much more, man. Oh, man, I heard you call me a dickhead, you fucker. Don't call me a dickhead. I love... Come on, man, we're all right. Hey, hey, have you seen, yeah, that was so smooth, yeah, that, you know, we need to do to go celebrate it, yeah? Because it's do? awesome, man. It's the best thing to celebrate ever, yeah? It's the rubber dinghy rapids. What? Full park, man. Rubber dinghy rapids. You never been on the rubber dinghy rapids? I've been on the rapids. Man. Rubber dinghy rapids. <laughs> rubber dinghy rapids. Never heard of such a thing. YouTube it, man. They are like bow selector, isn't it? Clicky finger type thing, like bow selector. Rubber dinghy rapids. Right. Well, I need to go and rest my nutsack in ice because I fucking smashed it up, man. Cool. Go put that on charge, man. Like, it's, it's, you know.
Coke. Brandy and Coke. It's the same, never mind. So, went down to local church after going to buy some stuff at the shops because I wanted to see what the idiots were doing, the non-believers. They seemed to be passing around a newspaper, which I thought was weird for a church. So I went to check what they were reading. And when I looked, I came up with a brilliant idea for what we're going to do. You know Flana, yeah? Yeah. Flana definitely would be up for getting the dick award. I'd make a mess of panties out of her front bottom. Yeah, man. That'd be so sick, man. She'd definitely fall in love with me. Especially when I bring my purple-headed yoghurt slinger right to the front <laughs> door. Purple-headed slinger, what? My well, purple-headed yoghurt slinger is such a big thing. I'm a poon hand off. Down for the plunge. Plunge, plunge. Plunge, plunge. It's going to be grim, but to say the least, it's fucking awesome. This is going to be what will take us to the next level. We will not be just any random chatties anymore. Let's play some music, man. Yeah, let's play some music. This will take us to the next level. going on. I bet I'm the only one who can do this for you. What the? I'm not going to handle this anymore. You're going to. Why didn't you tell me off the door? Fucking hell, that was the most gayest experience ever. I need my JD and Coke now. Yeah, you know what I'm leaving out. I felt sexy and I don't love it. Oh, I'm well, sorry, man. What are you sorry for? Party rock, girl. Oh, for God's sake. So is this all we're doing, is it? Well, Just gonna sit around, dancing, drinking. You can't sit around and dance at the same time. All right, all right. See, I don't understand this. He's saying we can't have fun because we're gonna blow ourselves up in a couple of weeks. Exactly, why can't we have fun before we die? Yeah. Well, what do you want to do before you die, eh? This! <laughs> Ravi, come on, think about it. We yeah. need to have a bit of fun before we die. At least a bit. You know, we don't guarantee our virgins are actually going to be women when we go to hell. Like it could heaven. be geeky people like you. This is that Kafar Flana bitch, isn't it? No. Hey, don't talk about it like that, Mum. Or what? What are you going to do? Want me to, uh... <laughs> no, 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 no. Thanks, thanks, man. Listen. I'm not going to lose my temper. Flana isn't a bitch. She's a fucking gentleman. A gentlewoman. Well, well, what? Whatever, look. Do. I'm gonna give him my purple headed yogurt saloon. <laughs> well, while you two have been standing around here dancing, I have actually come up with a plan. Oh, what? yeah, really, yeah? Yes. Yeah. This goes up and down, and then yogurt comes out the top. <laughs> the yogurt goes, comes out the top, out the top, top out, out the, the top. top. Yogurt comes out the top <laughs> all day long. Well, what's the plan then, Smarfs? Well, the plan is. I've found out about a young woman. 
I don't roughing you. I don't want any of your kafar lollipops, alright? Okay. Look, there's a woman, a young woman who is about to give birth. Yeah, so. By what people have said, immaculate conception. Immaculate conception. What, if she means she didn't get jizz on her boobies? What? No, it means that nobody had sex with her to throw her to get pregnant. You know, like my mum did when my dad walked off. Right, so this means people are seeing this as the second coming. Second coming? That's what she said too. <laughs> They're treating the child as if it's the baby Jesus. The so... The coming of baby Jesus? So, what we do is we go find this child disguised as the three wise men. Three wise men? Yeah, like you would get away with being a wise man. And like you would? I'd get away with being a white man, not a wise man. Look, it's yeah, full- I'd get off with Rochelle wise man. It's foolproof, all right? It means that we can disguise ourselves, we can find a place to bomb, and it's a significant event because people are gonna be paying attention to it. That means that they will notice what we've done, okay? All these devils who are trying to take over the world. All these devils and mean demons. There's only one devil, isn't there? I mean, the idea, you know, I ain't gonna lie, the idea sounds promising, but. How are we gonna do it? How are we gonna do it? I mean, how are we gonna get the bombs to them? Wait. That's it, isn't it? What? We'll just take the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Well, they'll be the disguise for the bombs. Exactly. And we'll blow them up that way. Can we not just. Like send them there, like buy a FedEx or something, and a big box. No, because no. they might blow up on the way there. We have to make sure the job gets done properly, so we have to go down there as the wise men. Okay, right. You shall be Balthazar. You, Ishi, shall be Caspar. The friendly ghost. And I shall be Melchior. You're a Milky what? You're a Milky whore. This is it. We so we disguise ourselves, we disguise the bombs, they'll let us through, and then, if there's any justice in the world... If I would be your man, I you would, would be, be my girl. girl! Yeah, that's the one. I'm drunk, mate, yeah. Are we going to be taking this seriously or what? Of course, mate, of course. But yeah. right now, I'm going for a piss. Very useful information. Depending on what you're coming out with, you're tough, right? I'm sexy and I know it. Don't you dare start that again. You know, the idea that um, Ravi came up with is actually a very good one because, I mean, who would have actually thought that, um, that the suspect packages, you know, the gold frankincense and myrrh would actually honestly end up being bombs? I mean, it's the perfect crime when you think about it. I mean, who else is going to turn up there pretending to be people from the story of the birth of Jesus? You know? And I think that that's one of the most greatest ideas ever. Um, so yes, we're going to cut this bit. We're going to put this bit on YouTube as well. I'm lost. Hussein? Yo. Are we going to cut all of this? We're going to put it all on YouTube. So yeah, basically it's a, it's a good plan. And as long as it doesn't get away with my relationship, my blooming relationship. And I mean blooming as in like, blooming, you know, it's a blossom, not blooming like bloody relationship with Flana. And Ravi sees through that, then everything shall portray itself as it should. <laughs>